Hey everyone, Mike here with CMMG. Today we are going to look a bit more in depth at the difference between our patented radio delay blowback operating system and a traditional or straight blowback system. For the purposes of this video, I'm just going to call this traditional blowback from here on out. Ever since we released a Mark G45 back in April of 2017, there have been a lot of videos and magazine articles about our system. They go into details of the system, but don't always convey the difference between the two. First, we'll have to get into the technical aspects and definitions, then we'll try to help simplify it. To start, let's take a look at what traditional blowback is. Traditional blowback is a system of operation that obtains momentum from the cartridge case as it is pushed to the rear. Since there's no bolt or barrel engagement, a heavier weight bolt and buffer are used to slow down the operation enough for safe operation. The speed of this bolt combined with its added weight give a recoil impulse that is more than a standard AR-15. So, what is radial delay blowback? The simplest answer I have for that is, it's a patented system that we created to eliminate problems with traditional blowback systems found in pistol caliber AR-15s. In a traditional blowback system, the only thing that keeps the chamber closed is the weight of the bolt, buffer, and action spring tension. Heavier and more powerful cartridge need more weight. With radial delay blowback, the bolt must be forced to rotate before it will cycle. This rotation slows things down enough for chamber pressures to drop to safe levels before cycling. The bolt rotation requires enough force that it also negates the need for heavy buffers, bolts, and action springs. Got all that? So you may be asking, why radial delay blowback? Well, less felt recoil means that you have faster follow-up shots. Slower and lighter bolt speeds mean that you have less wear on your components. Lighter recoil also means that you can introduce more people to the AR platform. Recoil and loud firearms are often a deterrent to new shooters. This helps minimize both. But if you're really looking into introducing new shooters, you should take a look at one of our 22s or 22 conversion kits, but that's a whole other video. Since we've already gotten into the technical stuff, let's take a look at the components and how to tell what's what. A lot of you like to build your own stuff, so looking at these bits should help you know what you can use and what you shouldn't use. First, let's look at the bolts. The radial delay blowback bolt looks like an AR-15 bolt. The differences between this and an AR-15 bolt are the lugs are chamfered on the back of the bolt. The cam path is different. The gas key, well, it looks like a gas key, really isn't a gas key. And like the AR-15, it does have a built-in ejector. It uses a standard AR buffer, and you can use an action tuning kit to add weight to the buffer if you need to tune it a little bit. The upper itself has feed ramps built into the upper, just like you would see in an AR-15, and it has a full-size ejection port cover. Actually, we've even enlarged the front part of the ejection port cover just a little bit to make sure you have clearance for cartridges like 45 ACP, 40 Smith & Wesson, and everybody's favorite, 10 millimeter. With the traditional blowback bolt, it's all one piece. It's heavy, it has a channel for the fixed ejector which is built into the lower, it has a heavier buffer in the system itself which means there's no real means to tune it, the feed ramps are also built into the lower along with the ejector like I just mentioned. So you have a lot of components that are not built into the bolt, whereas they are in the radial delay blowback. Now, with the traditional blowback, some of the components are removable and can be modified to work with our upper. But we cannot guarantee compatibility or reliability on a lot of those systems. Okay guys, that was a quick look at radial delay blowback versus traditional blowback. I know it seemed to be like an overly simplistic view of it, but it really is. Radio delay blowback essentially delays the operation of everything, 
so that you have less felt recoil, less velocity, slower action. It's just a smoother operating system. With the ability to add weights to it, you can tune it for your different loads, for whatever ammo you're using, suppressed, different calibers, all that fun stuff. It just makes it to be a lot more tunable system. Traditional blowback, heavy system. Can't really tune it, pretty solid recoil impulse. Again, looking at the two, they don't exactly play well together. You can really tell things that work for this shouldn't work for this. There are some things that are interchangeable, but I would say proceed with caution on those because not everything does. Radio delay blowback bolt, you should get a radio delay blowback barrel. They're not gonna work otherwise. I mean, that's just square peg round hole thing going on right here. I hope you found this information useful. If you did, feel free to give us a thumbs up and a subscribe. It really helps us grow the channel. As you've seen, we're really trying to put out more content, help educate you guys. If you have any questions, feel free to hit us up in the comments below. You can always check out all of our products at cmmginc.com. Until next time, stay safe.